great honor to be with you today. And being here is uh, a real, uh, a really important moment as far as I'm concerned. My first duty as president is to protect the American people. And today I'm taking action to fulfill that sacred obligation. In recent weeks, there's been a radical movement to defund, dismantle, and dissolve our police departments. Extreme politicians have joined this anti-police crusade and relentlessly vilified our law enforcement heroes. To look at it from any standpoint, the effort to shut down Policing in their own communities has led to a shocking explosion of shootings, killings, murders, and heinous crimes of violence. This bloodshed must end. This bloodshed will end. Today, I'm announcing a surge of federal law enforcement into American communities plagued by violent crime. We'll work every single day to restore public safety, protect our nation's children, and bring violent perpetrators to justice. We've been doing it, and you've been seeing what's happening all around the country. We've just started this process, and frankly, we have no choice but to get involved. With us today is Attorney General Bill Barr. Thank you, Bill, very much. Acting DHS Secretary Chad Wolf. Chad, thank you. And FBI Director Christopher Ray. Thank you, Chris, very much. We're also Pleased to be joined by Americans who have tragically lost their loved ones to recent violence. To each of you, please know that America grieves with you, that we pledge to honor the memory of your cherished loved ones by fighting to bring safety in every single community. We will bring that safety, you will see. For decades, politicians running many of our nation's major cities have put the interests of criminals above the rights of law-abiding citizens. These same politicians have now embraced the far-left movement to break up our police departments, causing violent crime in their cities to spiral, and I mean spiral seriously, out of control. In New York City, over 300 people were shot in the last month alone, a 277 at least percent increase over the same period of a year ago. Murders this year have spiked 27 percent in Philadelphia, 94 percent in Minneapolis, compared to the same period in 2019. Perhaps no citizens have suffered more from the menace of violent crime than the wonderful people of Chicago, a city I know very well. At least 414 people have been murdered in the city this year, a roughly 50 percent increase over last year. More than 1,900 people have been shot. These are numbers that aren't even to be believed. Yesterday alone, 23 people were shot in Chicago, including at least 15 who were shot in a merciless onslaught of gunfire outside of a funeral home. 63 people were shot in the city this past weekend, and at least 12 people were killed. Over the 4th of July weekend, nearly 80 people were shot and 17 were killed. Over Father's Day weekend, 104 people were shot and 15 were killed, including five young children. And the last weekend in May saw the city's deadliest day on record, 18 murders in 24 hours. Behind each of these horrifying statistics is a victim, a family, a loved one, and a life of cruelly shattered. And it's just so sad to see and so sad to look and so sad to see how these lives have been just torn apart. An African-American father of three was killed while walking into a store to pay his cell phone bill. A 13-year-old girl was killed when a stray bullet came through the window of her home and hit her in the neck in the presence of her family. On Independence Day, 14-year-old Vernado Jones Jr. was playing basketball with friends in a Chicago park when he was senselessly killed in a massacre that left eight people dead or wounded. Vernado's mother, Cheryl, is here with us today. And Cheryl, please know that all Americans mourn by your side. We will carry your son's memory 
He will not be forgotten, Cheryl. Cheryl, thank you very much. Thank you for being here, Cheryl. Thank you very much. It's a great honor to meet you before. Thank you. This rampage of violence shocks the conscience of our nation, and we will not stand by and watch it happen. Can't do that. The citizens of Chicago are citizens of America, and they have the same right as every other American to live in safety, dignity, and peace. No mother should ever have to cradle her dead child in her arms simply because politicians refuse to do what is necessary to secure their neighborhood and to secure their city. Every American, no matter their income, their race, or their zip code, should be able to walk their city streets free from violence and free from fear. For this reason today, I am announcing that the Department of Justice will immediately surge federal law enforcement to the city of Chicago. The FBI, ATF, DEA, U.S. Marshal Service, and Homeland Security will together be sending hundreds of skilled law enforcement officers to Chicago to help drive down violent crime. And murderers and violent criminals are breaking a wide range of federal laws. We have that. It's as wide as it can be. We will find them, arrest them, and prosecute them. They will be in jail for many years to come. And we will work with local police to identify violations of state and local laws to help ensure that offenders are caught and jailed for their crimes. But we must remember that the job of policing a neighborhood falls on the shoulders of local elected leadership. Never forget that. When they abdicate their duty, the results are catastrophic. Americans must hold their city leaders accountable. They must insist that community officials fully support, fully back, and fully fund their local police departments. There is simply no substitute for a police department that has the strong backing of city leaders. In the meantime, we will use federal law enforcement to vigorously charge federal crimes and support these besieged communities to the greatest extent possible. This will be hard, painstaking work. It will take time. The tide will not recede overnight, but we will marshal all of the strength and focus and determination that we can possibly do. This is a critical effort. We will continue. Anyway, family, shalom, shalom, shalom. It's good to be back. Before I continue, all praises go to the Most High Power Hashem for allowing us to see another day, another day in which we can utilize to pretty much serve Him and ask for forgiveness of our sins because it's about to get real, family. Now, we just watched your commanding thief on television announcing martial law. Now, I'm going to show y'all that you know what i'm saying a lot of times when i come on here come on here basically it's not for fear mongering all right it's basically for me to let y'all know that we are under spiritual attack and the powers that be is behind enforcing the spiritual attack against the children of yasharal black people now i've made videos in the past telling y'all that before the summer ended that we was going to go into martial law total fucking lockdown that's what my exact phrase and i explained to y'all that the most i revealed to me that that was going to happen now i had a, a troll stated that it was summertime and nothing happened see a lot of y'all don't realize we've been under martial law the fact that we're wear, wearing masks you know what i'm saying is a pretense of martial law now of course we're wear, wearing a mask because they're saying that you know what I'm saying? Coronavirus is out there and in order to protect ourselves from it, we have to wear a mask. Not saying that Corona doesn't exist because whatever is out there is killing us. OK, now I know for a fact that they're rolling this shit out very, very softly. It's like a soft rolled out. You know, what I mean, what they're doing, family, is pretty much allowing us to get accustomed to, you know, being used to, first of all, being a, being on lockdown. Secondly, they, they got us wearing their masks, subjecting us. In other words, when you wear, wear a mask, you're basically being subjected. You're like an a individual that's being subjected to the powers that be. A lot of y'all don't understand. It's all uh, messianic symbols behind it. So now you have your commanding thief coming on here talking about that he's going to roll out federal agents in Chicago and other cities that's going to follow. I told y'all that martial law is basically where, you, where your freedom is going to be taken away from you. Soon enough, they're going to be curfewing 
all these major black cities, okay? And then they're going to come to a city near you, white people. So you stay tuned for that, especially if you own firearms. This is what they're doing. They're creating problem to get a reaction than to find a solution. This is why he's talking about the law enforcement being defunded. And the, I guess he's referring to the Democrats being behind it. It's all a game. These people are the one that's going around killing people by stuff. I'm not saying black people are not shooting one another. Because if you're in a pre 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 predominantly black community, you're going to have black on black crime. If you're in a predominantly white community, you're going to have white on white crime. So it's almost like they're not reporting all the crimes that's ha happening in the white community, only focusing on the blacks. You know, what I'm saying? it's so funny. I want to share a story with you real quick. The other day I went to my mother's house. Now, my mother, she's half white. Right. I think her daddy is white. She never knew her dad because she's a product of rape. I'm going to share my st personal story with you. Right. So if you look at her, you think she's white until she starts to talk. She got a Jamaican dialect. Now, my mother, she made a statement and I didn't like it, but I'm not going to share that with y'all about what Trump is doing. And I guess, what, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to share it with y'all. She said, we black people always talking about black lives matter, but we kill the, the majority of blacks being killed is by, by other blacks. So I explained to her that not necessarily because you do have these mercenary devils dressing up with black masks going around killing us by stuff. She didn't believe me. So I had to show her three videos showing where you had white people dressing up in these Hollywood style masks, right? Going around shooting black people and blaming it on black on black crime. Then she kind of understood where I was coming from. So a lot of these so-called murders that's happening in Chicago. I know people from Chicago personally. I've visited Chicago on many, many occasions. I've delivered down there. And you have gang members saying, look, they don't even know what's going on because they don't really have no beef. Yes, they ain't gangs and shit, but ain't no really ain't no real beef going on. And Chicago is like uh, Baltimore. I'm from Baltimore. So I know for a fact that if you got all these motherfucking cameras on these light poles, you're supposed to be able to see some crime going on. You know, but yes, they, they can't all these shootings and shit. They can't find nobody. Very, very rare. They make an arrest because what's happening, family? A lot of these police officers, especially now that they're going to be defunded and show, or they're working towards defunding them, they're going to create crime. It's just common sense. It's almost like a motherfucker that's in a fire department, right? Let's say a fire department ain't really getting no action. They're going to go out there and create fires and shit to get some action. You know what I'm saying? Because they have to be relevant. That's what's happening. They're saying, okay, y'all motherfuckers want to defund the police? Okay, we're going to show y'all how much y'all need the police. And that's what they're doing. I know it sounds crazy, conspiracy and shit, but listen, they are the ones, and I'm saying all because you all do have some dumbass niggas out there killing, you know, black folks. And I call them niggas because they're niggas, ignorant idiots. If they really realize who the fuck they were, that they were royalty, they wouldn't be doing all this, but because they give us hip hop and distraction and shit, you know, distracting us from who we really are as royalty. We're the children of Yashara. We're the only people that deal with tribes. Black people don't, I mean, white people don't deal with tribes. They deal with clans. So we know those people over there posing as us. They're not the true children of Israel. Okay. Read Revelation 2, 9 and 3, 9 in their book. It tells you who the fuck they are. So, I'm not going to try to, you know, say some shit, too much shit on this video because I don't want them to block this video. But family, I'm telling you, they're causing a problem to get a reaction to find a solution. And the solution is martial law. If you notice on the clip, he he mentioned martial. OK, but he didn't straight out come out with the martial law. We are under martial law, whether y'all believe it or not. Even now, we, we can't even travel to Europe. Europe don't want us over there. That's what they say. They got us on lockdown. They're literally cornering off the fucking world they don't want us to move to and fro we are going to be on lockdown what they're going to do family they're going to use black folks to go back into slavery they're going to target the black people in these major cities such as new york where i'm from when i came from united from jamaica here to the united snakes of america right i grew up in new york city they're going to target new york city they're going to because remember he mentioned a couple of cities and those are the cities you got to pay attention to see they use word widgetry family they they're like fucking snakes with forked tongue They'll say something on on one side of their lip and shit, and the other side, there's something else coming out. So you have to be very careful of these devils. They like to create problem to get a reaction to, 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 to pretty much get a solution. Just like when they went to invade land and colonize land, the first thing they did was bring missionary Christians, so-called Christians, right? To come into your motherfucking land, to, 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 to appear that they're coming as, you know, peaceful people. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then after the fucking missionary, then they bring in the military. That's what they do. But they don't understand that their time is on hand. They're about to go. I'm telling you, they don't realize they're at the end of their rulership. Fortunately for us, family, we're still here. The Most High is purging two-thirds of 
Yashara. That's why you see a lot of people dying and shit from the COVID. And you see a lot of people from gun violence as well. Because see, the Most High, he used evil to, to fight evil. He don't use righteousness to fight evil. That's what a lot of people don't understand. Because he say in the Bible, he say he create good and he create evil. The Most High is behind evil as well as good. A lot of y'all don't understand that. Everybody blaming on the devil. No, the devil is the agent of the Most High. He uses the um, Esatan or Satan or whoever the spirit is. He ha he works on behalf of the Most High. He's actually the prosecutor. He's he he he's the one that accuses us when we do dumb shit. You feel what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm not gonna be too long on this video because I w I want to be able to upload this video so I, I could sh you know I could share information with y'all. But family, they are the one behind most of these shootings in black communities. They have to create a problem. I gotta keep saying this shit so y'all can understand. They're the one that's shooting. I'm not saying once again. I'm not saying black people ain't shooting black people either. But I'm just saying that they are doing most of these killings in chicago because you got people in chicago saying this shit you know what i'm saying it's not just us going around killing each other why would why the fuck would we want to go and shoot up a, a motherfucking funeral i was watching on willie d live earlier today why would we go and shoot up a funeral knowing that we got youngsters their elderly people their family members you know older people it doesn't make sense that's them dressing up or if not for the very least they're paying paying a lot of these gang members to 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 to, to kill we black people, we cannot go to a st fucking Walmart and buy a knife without them doing a background check. Where are we getting these guns from? Where are we getting these weapons from? Think about this shit. They're dropping these weapons in our fucking communities, in the alleyway. I showed y'all videos back in the days where they literally dropping uh, weapons. You had gang members saying that they went into the alley and shit and seen a crate of guns. You know what I mean? That's what they do because they got the um, the blue and the red. Just like you have the Democrat blue and you got the Republican red. You got the Crips blue and you got the uh, um, Bloods Red. They, they, the fucking poli po politics, the poli politician. They're the one that's creating the gangs, okay? Because, <clears throat> like I said, you got the um, the Bloods. They represent red, right? You got the Democrats. They represent um, blue. You got the Crips. They represent blue. You got the motherfucking Republicans. They represent red. So they're the one that's creating chaos in this motherfucker. Y'all don't understand. This shit is real. And also, I realize that I do have some new subscribers. For those of you who are subscribed to my channel as new uh, subscribers, I want to say welcome. I suggest that you go watch a couple of my videos because I'm not a Christian. I do not deal with Christianity. I do not believe in the New Testament Savior because he ain't saving nobody. Jesus Christ been on vacation for 2,000 years. As a matter of fact, his name wasn't Jesus because the letter J was invented, uh, what, about 500 years ago? So-called Jesus predate, predated 500 years, right? So we know his name couldn't have been Jesus. So whoever you, you dumbasses are getting baptized under or saved under is not is not who y'all think he is it's some other motherfucker named jesus whoever that character is and every time you pick up your cross and follow jesus you meet death so i just had to add that shit in for you new subscribers so you know who, you know who i am in case you decide you want to stay go and watch some of my videos because a lot of y'all might be offended by what i have to say i keep the shit 100 i do cuss on my channel i am a hebrew israelite that does use vulgarity all right so family, I just want to share this shit with y'all. Tell me what y'all think. Please, please tell me what y'all think in the comment section. And I'm glad to be back. Shalom.